Welcome to the Excel Award. We're delighted to have you here. It's great to be at Cochran Elementary School. And we want to welcome you to what has become a continuing search for great teachers in our public school system. Uh, the first Excel presentation was, if you can believe this, in 1989. Now we're in 2018, so we're approaching 30 years of Excel Awards, and so many great teachers have been honored with this program over the past 29 years. And today, we come to announce the one who excels in this school, Ashley Kemper. She's really a terrific teacher who touches so many lives, not just the students in this school, but the students at the University of Louisville, many of whom live and learn about uh, teaching in her classroom. Ms. Kemper has taught third grade for the entire time she has been at Cochran. But can one teacher make a difference? Well, in that time, the school has moved from the seventh percentile to the, scat to the status of a proficient school. Most of her students have scored proficient or distinguished on the math assessment test. She is making a difference for her students. Now, the principal, Mr. Foster, said in his letter of recommendation for the Excel Award that Mrs. Kemper is what all principals pray for. He calls her simply the best teacher that he has ever seen. In addition to demanding excellence, Mrs. Kemper is kind and patient. She is building confidence in her students and preparing them for the important assessment tests that come in third and fourth grade. She is simply so good that her class is visited by entire classes from the University of Louisville to observe model instruction. She is passing along her skills to the next generation of teaching. This is the way to teach. She is also preparing students for their next step in learning. Yes, one teacher can make a difference, especially if that teacher is your teacher or your child's teacher. One teacher can make a difference if that teacher is Ashley Kemper. She has already been student of the year uh, student Teacher of the Year at U of L, and the Hilliard Lions Teacher of the Year. And today, we bring the golden apple. Ashley, if you would please come forward. Thank you so much for all that you do for public education and in our community. I want you to know that this golden apple reflects the faces of all of the students that you have mentored and taught over the years. Congratulations, you are an Excel Award winner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Over the years, uh, we have had uh, a wonderful co-sponsor for the Excel Award, uh, the folks that uh, are with us every step of the way. And they bring the second half of the Excel Award, which is an exciting item called the big check. Please welcome from lg &E KU, Liz Pratt. Liz. Thank you, Gary, and good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's my pleasure to be here today on behalf of all the employees at lg and &E and Kentucky Utilities and to have the opportunity to honor Mrs. Kemper. Um, as the daughter of a former elementary school teacher and now the parent of a current third grade student, um, I have a special appreciation for the Excel Awards and being able to recognize exceptional teachers like Mrs. Kemper. Whether she's encouraging and inspiring her students to take charge of their learning, collaborating with her coworkers, or as Gary mentioned, welcoming future educators into her classroom through the school's partnership with the University of Louisville, she is making a difference in the lives of those around her. From our perspective at lg and &E KU, education in areas like language arts and reading and math and science and everything that Mrs. Kemper is teaching her students today are at the root of everything that we do. And so we also want to help inspire students to embrace learning at an, at an early age because we know that the students here sitting here today and across our community will become our future community leaders. So in closing, Mrs. Kemper, we appreciate and we celebrate the impacts you're making within our community for your students and your passion for teaching. 
And as Gary mentioned, um, I'm happy to present you today, if you don't mind coming forward, with a check for $1,000 to be used here in your classroom. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Polio. All right, good afternoon. Let's see, are we the cock? We can do better than that. Yeah, good afternoon. There we go. What are we, the Cochran Cats? Is that what we are? Yes, sir, we are. The Cochran Cats. So, what a great group of students. So, very impressed sitting here watching you all. and getting to uh, honor a great teacher. And as we've said, this is like the Hall of Fame teacher. So how many students have been lucky enough to have Ms. Kemper as a teacher? Raise your hand. All right. And the rest of you will probably have her coming up. So congratulations. You have had a great teacher. And it's, a, sorry teachers. I know I got them stirred up, my fault. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Foster to say, one of the greatest teachers he's ever seen, and my guess is you've seen a lot of yes, teachers. Sir, I so I won't say any like old jokes or anything, but my I guess is uh, that's exactly right. <laughs> and it's a lot of teachers. So what an honor um, to be here today to honor Miss Kemper, who I know is a fantastic teacher and all the great things that we have heard about her. And like I said, we only honor six of these teachers in Jefferson County every year. And there are close to 7,000 teachers in Jefferson County. And only six in the entire county get awarded with an Excel Award. So that's what an honor this is to accept and get this award and shows what a great teacher she is. Those who work closest to her, her colleagues say, Ms. Kemper is a driven and dedicated classroom leader who provides an effective instructional delivery approach that meets the needs of all of her students. The eyes of the students shine brightly as they listen and learn, soaking up information like a sponge from their extraordinary award-winning teacher. And she knows her students very well, which enables her to assist them in setting goals in all content areas, and then helps them achieve those goals. As you know, as was said earlier, she's already received several awards, including Student Teacher of the Year at U of L and Hilliard Lions. And she is also active in the school community um, and serves as a teacher leader at the school and in her PLC group. So what an exceptional teacher. And it's my honor uh, to congratulate you, Ms. Kemper, on winning the Excel Award. Thank you. It's also my honor to introduce our uh, chair of the Jefferson County Board, who uh, is here to um, say a few words. I'd like at this time to um, introduce Ms. Diane Porter. It's absolutely my honor to be here today. And because you did so well the last time, I'm going to do it one more time. Good afternoon. Thank you. It's awesome to be at Cochran. It's a wonderful family. I don't even call it a school. I call it a family of Cochran. And I'm honored to be here today for our special teacher, Miss Ashley. My remarks are very short and to the point. Uh, last year, Dr. Polio introduced us to the school year by showing us this wonderful video of a doctor and what this doctor had done to save uh, a person. But the message that we took away from the video was, I love my job, and I'm really, really good at it. So today we are here to honor someone who loves her job, and she's really, really good at it. I'm honored to be the school board member for Cochran, and on behalf of the Board of Education, it is my pleasure today to present this award or plaque, which is not a plaque, but it's glass, to Ms. Kemper for the, uh, her work with LG&E KU. Thank you to our sponsors. Uh, I haven't been around all of those years, been around a lot of them, but because of them and the collaboration with our community, are we able to stop for a minute or two and say thank you for wonderful work from our staff. So thank you, and Ms. Kemper, thank you for all that you do. She loves her job, and she's really, really good at it. Thank you. Thank you. 
At this time, I will introduce Dean Larson from the University of Louisville. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> that is a great greeting. Thank you so much. Well, it's my honor and privilege to be here this afternoon to represent the University of Louisville and to thank Principal Foster and Cochrane Elementary School, Superintendent Polio, Chairperson Diane Porter, and my colleagues uh, from the district and at LG&E for this wonderful occasion to represent um, and to acknowledge an award-winning and marvelous teacher, Ashley Kemper. We have a partnership at the University of Louisville with Cochrane Elementary School. Principal Foster is a former student of mine as a professor at U of L, and I'm so very proud of Mr. Foster and of Ms. Kemper this afternoon. I'd like to say just a few words about Ashley, and then I'll pass the baton to the next speaker. Ms. Kemper graduated from the University of Louisville in the College of Education and Human Development in 2009 with a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education. She had a concentration in learning and behavior disorders, and even then we knew that Ms. Kemper was going to be a star teacher. In 2012, three years after she graduated from U of L first time, she got a degree at the master's level in reading education. And as has been mentioned, she uh, received a Student Teacher of the Year Award when she finished her student teaching at J.B. Atkinson Elementary. As a former classroom teacher myself, I always say that teaching is the profession of all professions. And we are so honored to, this afternoon to recognize and acknowledge Ms. Kemper. Let's give her another round of applause. In your programs, it says Brent McKim would be here, but he had a meeting in Frankfurt, so we're lucky to have Shanda Hornback, our JCTA representative. Thank you very much. Brent does send his regrets that he could not be here today. He got called into a meeting at the last minute. But I'm here today uh, on behalf of JCTA and on behalf of your colleagues, Ms. Kemper, uh, to commend you for your dedication to your students and to public education and to present to you the JCTA Schoolhouse Award. Our very active PTA decided to get Mrs. Kemper a gift. I'd like to introduce our PTA president, Maria Torrance. At this time, Ms. Kemper, I'd like to give you a gift basket full of goodies. <laughs> and I have two more speakers. We have our very own Mrs. Mangum and Mrs. Smith, our fourth grade teachers. They will share some insight about their time working with Ms. Kemper over the last several years. All right, good afternoon. <laughs> Just thought I'd keep it going. All right, um, it is our honor to be here today to celebrate our friend and colleague, Ms. Ashley Kemper. We first met Ashley when she was doing her student teaching at Atkinson Elementary in the spring of 2009. We were fortunate that she was hired as a fourth grade teacher that fall because she impacted the lives of so many students. Throughout the years, Ashley has taught second through fourth grade. She has been a true colleague. It didn't matter if you were teaching on the same team level as her or on, or on the same team, or not on the same team, excuse me. She was always there to collaborate and share ideas. From the time we met Ashley, she has always been very intentional and very well planned. 
This was demonstrated when we, when we went to the International Reading Association Conference with her in Orlando, Florida, one year. She had her whole day already mapped out before we even got to, on the trip. Um, her days were planned. She knew exactly what events and what speakers she was going to visit. She even knew whose autograph she was going to obtain um, before going. And she was proud to spotlight a lot of those authors in her classroom. She was also very proud to bring back the ideas that she learned at IRA and share those with not only her students, but also with her colleagues. Uh, Ashley gets very excited about new ideas and she's always willing to share hers with others. She understands that we are all in this together and that it is about the kids, period. As a third grade teacher, Ash Ashley has mastered that balance of that transition between primary and intermediate, between learning to read and reading to learn, between direct instruction to project-based or performance task learning. She understands the necessity and the importance of that gradual release of responsibility. Her classroom instruction includes research-based best practices. Uh, such as differentiation and deeper learning to meet the needs of all of her students. Kids know the expectations in that classroom, but somehow she also manages to give them so much room to grow and to blossom. Ashley has always been our biggest cheerleader, so this is a complete honor to be able to be here to cheer her on. Ashley, we love you, we are so proud of you, and we're honored to work with you and learn from you every day. We would like to present um, some flowers and a gift card to you from the faculty and staff of Cochrane. Ashley, if you'd join me here, um, I noticed that uh, some of these people here on the front row might be family. Is that true? Yes. Would you like to introduce? And, and I see the new addition is here. Yes. <laughs> that is my seven-week-old son, Brady. Okay. And my daughter, Avery, who's two. All right. And I have my um, husband, Brennan, my dad, Steve, my sister, Amy, my mother-in-law, Sherry, and my father-in-law, Mike. All right. <laughs> And I bring her up to introduce the newest winner of the WHAS TV LG&E KU Excel Award. Once again, Ashley Kemper, your Teacher of the Year. Wow. Thank you guys. So first of all, give yourselves a pat on the back. You've been an amazing audience. Good job. You all are doing great. Good job. You really know how to make a girl feel loved. <laughs> I want to start um, with my teaching journey. Why teaching? I have officially been teaching for nine years, but I often feel like I have been doing it my entire life. Some are born to sing, born to lead, born to create. I feel as if I was born to teach. I too attended JCPS schools and have been a JCPS graduate. Throughout my time at Sanders Elementary, Conway Middle, and PRP High School, I had teachers who inspired me. When I was a young girl, I would rush home to play school. My first student was my little sister, Amy, who either let me always be the teacher or didn't really have a choice in the math. <laughs> it was safe to say that I loved all things school, and I really do mean that. I really, really like school so much that I never wanted to leave it, so I didn't. I went to school every single day, never absent, never tardy, not in kindergarten, nor first grade, second grade, on and on and on. I ended up graduating with 13 years of perfect attendance. Creating that goal and sticking to it motivated me to do more. And it was safe to say that as soon as I left school, I was ready to go back. It wasn't until I reached the University of Louisville with Dr. With Dean Larson that I figured out what teaching was really all about. Being a teacher is much more than just teaching the facts or teaching the core subjects like reading, writing, math, science, and social studies. 
I knew early on I had to find a way to make my students goal oriented and motivated. And I was so happy to hear some of you telling me you've reached your goals today. Keep it up. I had to learn to care uh, for their social and emotional needs as well as their academics. This is why I have always ran my classroom with clear expectations and goal setting opportunities that leads to positive reinforcement. We have a saying in my room, if you do good, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> with that being said, I also teach my students about what to do when they stumble or hit that bump in the road. I often tell them just because teaching is my calling doesn't mean it's always been easy to do. It hasn't always come natural. I've had to put in a lot of hours of practice. It has always been my goal to prepare my students for what is beyond third grade. That is why I have concentrated on teaching my students how to persevere, how to accept feedback, how to code switch when necessary, and how their college experience is just around the corner. I love being my students' teacher, their motivator, and their number one fan. In closing, I want to thank everyone involved in this tremendous celebration. You, like I said, you make a girl feel loved. Thank you, Gary Rodemeyer, the WHAS 11 team, as well as lg and EKU for your, the wonderful honor. I speak on behalf of all teachers when I say how much we appreciate supportive sponsors taking the time to shine the spotlight on great teaching within our community. I'm sure there's many more Excel Awards coming Cochran's way. I also want to thank Mr. Foster and Ms. Huber. The atmosphere that you have created at Cochran for both students and staff is something that you should be extremely proud of. The teachers and the staff at Cochran, I have appreciated your collaboration and enthusiasm for teaching. Every classroom in our building has inspired me. You are changing our students' lives each and every day. Ms. Mangum, Ms. Smith, Ms. Robinson, you have been my biggest cheerleaders and I love working with you. I also want to thank the University of Louisville. It is through great partnerships that teaching and leadership continues to grow. I have been so fortunate to be a part of the PDS and not only become a supervising teacher, but have wonderful mentors who have shaped my teaching philosophy along the way. To my family, thank you for always getting me to school on time, every single day, <laughs> and helping me accomplish all of my school goals. Thank you for understanding my extreme love for all things school supplies, not to mention giving up your August to help me set up the perfect classroom. Thank you to my husband, Brennan, for believing in my dreams, being my best friend and greatest cheerleader who gives me confidence I need to reach my goals. To the newest members of my family, my two-year-old daughter, Avery, and my seven-week-old son, Brady, I wanted to be your mom and make you proud even before I knew you. I love you very much. Last but not least, to my students, um, both current and past, thank you. You are the inspiration for everything. There is nothing better than watching a light bulb go off in your brain when a discovery is made or a wall come down when our trust and bond has been formed. Keep working hard and persevering. I cannot wait to hear the amazing things that you too will accomplish. Thank you. Ms. Skipper, that was absolutely perfect and I'm not surprised. Um, I did say this in her, um, in her letter. Uh, we have superstars in this building. I could go door to door, classroom to classroom, and my bosses can attest to this. We have great teachers. And to say she's the best I've ever seen says a lot. Um, she has truly shown me what elementary education looks like. Um, if I ever had a bad day, I would say I've got to go to Kemper's room and I would just go in and sit for two minutes and I would be good. Um, I want to thank Ms. Huber for nominating Ms. Kemper. Uh, Lee came to me one day and said, I'm going to nominate Ashley Kemper for the Excel Award. So thank you, Ms. Huber. That concludes our Excel ceremony. Let's give Ms. Kemper one last round of applause. <laughs>